You guys still reading this manga? You are? Good. Let's get to the review. You are brave for actually continuing after 500 chapters because I know a lot of people were dropping this series. I know a lot of people gave up hope. I know a lot of people just says, screw it. I don't want to read it anymore. It's fairy tale. End of story. But hey, you guys are here to hear the reviews. And maybe you're probably just hearing the review just to see what's up with this chapter rather than actually reading the chapter itself. Chapter 501 is a continuation. Lucy instead of Grey. So we did not get to see more of Grey scenario. Instead, we get to see Lucy and Natsu with Brandish and then after the Nihar being one shotted it's time to get some difference in the battle with actually having more than just one shot and actually have a competitive battle that actually provided entertainment in this chapter and I actually find this chapter to be better than the last one I know the rating kind of ticked you off from the last chapter the last chapter did seem like you have to hate this chapter to give you a positive reputation rather than the other way around I don't know maybe it's just me seriously Seriously, this chapter was entertaining. The ending is something interesting for something that's going to happen, even though the preview suggests that we're going to a different course. This chapter mainly focused on the battle between Lushi and Brandish. So what about Natsu? Well, Brandish actually increased back that original size for that tumor Natsu has inside his body. Now Natsu is in his dying breath. We have Lushi to fight Brandish. That's the way to have Brandish to convert as she keep going back and forth. It gets a little bit frustrating but it's something that's like you gotta just understand that fairy tale can beat spring of 12. Now we have Brandish versus Lucy and it was actually entertaining. I know Lucy is a character that people like to portray as a walking fan service character and I understand that because she does display a lot of skins and whatnot even so that is the case and it can be distracting I understand that. I did find this chapter to be really entertaining because it's probably the fact that Lucy isn't as powerful it's always good to see when the underdog does a lot of action more so than the person who's already overpowered like Natsu or even Grey at this point. So seeing Lucy going against Brandish was actually pretty entertaining. Fun to see how much she used the star dress system. It's really fun to see so many different variety and then the way how she has to use a different one in order to break away from Brandish such as getting grabbed hold on and then she breaks away with different star dress. We actually saw Scorpio which is actually pretty cool. Probably be like the best design maybe I don't know. It because it's not really a fan service heavy it's rather just looks really cool with the whole scorpion thing the whole tail i thought the art in this chapter was actually pretty good it has a it's very clean and you can really understand how the battle goes yeah i know the fan service is in your face still it is provided with a good amount of detail on the entire action and i really like the whole sequence between lucy and brandish i thought it was pretty entertaining i was like see we need more of this kind of fight for fairy tale because fairy tale i know a, a lot of people like to associate them to be one punch man meets fairy tale in terms of just one shot at everything and hell even to the point that a punch is actually all it needs it needs to have more of those kind of fights it actually gets less predictable rather than something that's actually much predictable with the case of one shotting characters with Lucy mixing up with Scorpio power and then mixing up with the Aquarius it just comes to provide like a really good amount of fun a really good chemistry of how to utilize a different way of magic powers it's something that can tell you that fairy tale can be fun still it seems like we always focus on the one shot and it's understandable that not every character has to showcase everything and it could drag out the story i get that but sometimes you gotta freshen up a bit with a different style of fighting and a different style of showcasing those magic powers so that way we can really less complain minus the whole story and the structure of the plot but that's a different story my point is in the action department it can be fun it can be really good in this case it was actually pretty fun i really enjoyed that battle the ending of the chapter have the myriad actually showing up and then she takes out Brandish because this is where she pretty much in a very emotional driven of hatred she has witnessed Brandish being a traitor and she would take her out because Lucy is the one that converted her that's one way to look at it the art really works well in this whole entire chapter I really like the art just show how Demiria just seems like so calm and then it gets a little bit so angry it shows you she's broken up it seems like the next chapter won't go back to that moment I would say one thing though as good as as the action and the artwork the problem i have is the fan service is distracting you get a close-up 
shot and a lot of different angles i mean like i like the art there are ways to avoid fan service it's obvious even if with that kind of skimpy outfit they have it's still possible to avoid that kind of way but of course mashima is not going to do that because reasons i don't know it can be his preference or it could be the preference of the magazine he's in point is i wish the fan service was toned down in this one especially if a lot of serious part comes in with the mirror and all that stuff it just gets distracting when you see something that is like a body shot of a different angle that just kind of really takes away from the seriousness i thought this chapter was better than the last one it was entertaining and uh, it's something that i kind of wish we get more of this with a conclusion because this battle didn't have a conclusion instead it got interrupted with demir i hope it's not a one shot moment once again i hope it's going to be more variety in the upcoming chapters could give a free pass to gray versus invil it was understandable to showcase how gray is so incredibly pissed and how much he can be dangerous as a guy who just go all out power with the demonic magic in this case when it comes to like a real one-on-one -on -one, it has to be more of an equal quality of battle so i hope that would be more of that i'm trying not to get too much hope i understand it's fairy tale a lot of people like to hate it sometimes i can only hope for the best and sometimes wish can only be a wishful thinking nothing more nothing less chapter 501 gets a seven I know it's the same rating as the last chapter, but the last chapter have a different perks of what makes it good and then the different perks of what makes it bad. This chapter it has the perk of what makes it good from the action standpoint. Also, there is no decimal with this rating system, which is always hard to make a grading. If it had a decimal, you could say the last chapter was in this high range of six point something. So you got to round it up and I round it up to seven. In this chapter, it would be rounded down because it would be like 7.3 or even four. So that's how it works. Um, I don't want to change this rating system. I'm not going to dismiss the, the rating system as well. But you got to understand that certain chapters, certain ratings affects differently. Depends on what you have to do in this chapter itself. Like it could be just a really all action pack. All depends how the delivery and how it all makes up from the past chapter. So maybe if the past chapter were something really built up well, this chapter would actually be higher grade because it all depends on how the delivery, how the execution and how the the build up really comes all together either way rating should not be the only thing you should focus on you should focus on what's the quality what it gets in this chapter what it has in this chapter and whatever it provides the entertainment whatever it makes you mad that's how you really look at the chapter my thoughts are told don't let yours on hold leave a comment below thank you for watching this video if you like this and want more of this subscribe to my channel and my world will be yours to stay until next time Take care.